So the next thing we have for you, we're finally going to move on to Logan's DigiPen uh, library. And so obviously what we want to do is um, probably his biggest, uh, his biggest masterpiece. Uh, the big hitters right here. Is it on stream? All right, music is go. So, right, so cool. this is Duck. So Logan, why don't you tell us the story of Duck? Uh, yeah, so I had a store, I think it was third year, third year of DigiPen. Um, I had a story, like writing class. <laughs> and uh, we had an assignment to make a small game in like three weeks or a week or something like that. It was a very short amount of time, uh, especially with all the other DigiPen stuff going on. Um, and the assignment was basically like, have a focus on a story. Um, and I was very uninspired and I couldn't come up with much. Um, and I like ducks, so I, I thought it would be fun to just make a game about a duck's life. Um, and I had recently played the game Passage, um, so that's why I went with this, <laughs> this uh, aspect ratio. Um, I thought traveling from left to right was a, a cool little thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, I, I found some music on, on the Digipin network, the audio <laughs> network of Digipin, and, um, uh, just felt inspired to make this, this game about this, uh, jaunty duck <laughs> living his life. Her and life, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Now, okay, now is the challenge, right? Yeah. I gotta oh, be yeah. really careful here. And a, and a dozen checkpoints, so you gotta be careful. And it That's can right. hit the baby ducks. All right, okay. we are good. Nice. We are clear. Um, but yeah, I I was happy with it turned with how it turned out because it's uh, just bizarre, um, especially with the music. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I I think I got like a C or something on the assignment. I didn't. It didn't fit the assignment very well because there's no! not really much of a story. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 class was that again? What class is that for? I think it was like English three ten or something okay, right, like that. Right. English three hundred one something. Um, Jen Sward uh, taught the class, and uh, yeah, it was it was a fun assignment to make, but I didn't do very well. <laughs> and then here um, we go. And, it's yeah, the circle it, of life, it, right? The circle of life. It just loops. It just loops and loops. Um, yeah. So I, I actually have an anecdote. You told me this, and I'm going to share this with the audience here. So, if, I, if I'm getting this right, you can correct me where I'm wrong in the story, but mm. you made this game, you knew you wanted to have a quack sound. And just to answer the questions from the audience here, yes, I can press a button to quack. That's, yes. that's very important. Very that. important, yeah. Um, so, you knew you wanted to have a quack sound, so you found this quack.mp3, right? And you, you put that in the, in the game. And then later, you're like, okay, I need to add music to the game. So you found this mp3 for this music you liked. And you dropped it in, and Game Maker was like, "No, you can't play two MP3s at the same time." And you're like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'll just bring in the music as a WAV file instead." So you have Quack MP3, which is like a tenth of a second long, and then you have, you have this song right here, which is actually a WAV file in the uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it, basically, in, in my in my opinion, that's emblematic of I think your approach to game design because. If that were me, I'd be like, okay, put the brakes on until we fix that problem. But really, that didn't affect the game. No one would yeah. know that. Yeah. The teacher mm -hmm. of grading assignment doesn't know that, right? So that's your way of saying, look, I'm going to fix what needs fixing, and I'm going to move forward, right? So that's kind of a nice a, a nice thing to keep in mind. But I always thought it was so funny that you're just like, oh, it's too late. I've already put in quack, so we we got to bring in the music as a WAV file, which is probably like 10 times larger in file size, so... Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta make it hacky any any way you can. Yeah, exactly. All, all the all the player cares about is the end result. End result so. That's right. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, some questions from the audience here. Uh, people are going nuts in the chat about about this duck game. Uh, but, um, <laughs> Lalume says, "Wow, this duck is far more successful than I am, and she's only been alive for a minute or so." So I guess so. I, I feel I kind of feel that way too myself, but. Um, this was an English class, yes. Mikador says, I'm like 90% sure this game is the direct sequel to God of War. Do you have anything to say about that? I, I, it is true, right? This was actually a, 
sequel to yeah that? i mean yeah it, it's a spiritual successor a i couldn't get the su- license for god exactly. of war that's but right. That's right. i i love god of war so i i wanted to make a, a god of war spiritual successor too so he the duck's name uh is kratos so. <laughs> okay wow okay you heard it here first folks i didn't is, know that so yeah. that's is kratos reborn exclusive trivia here this is great so and then um 18 says uh you're still a junior in high school but you made this for an English class at DigiPen? And, and yeah, he made it for an English class at DigiPen. This is the kind of thing. I think yeah. maybe that English class would probably now be a different, probably be a, actually a game design class. I, I don't know exactly which class that was, but there's been some, some shifting of around, around of what yeah. classes were what. And we actually have I remember, design classes now. So Yeah, I, I remember it was a in, English class, like writing specifically for games because Jen, uh, the professor Jen Sword, she had worked on like, I believe like LucasArts games that were that were well renowned, and so sh- she had us do a lot of assignments that were like specifically writing for games. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, so a couple more questions, and then we should move on to a different game. Um, what's your favorite part of the duck game? And Lalume wants to know for, from both of us. I'll go first because oh. mine's less important. My favorite part of the duck game, I think, is um, um, I really like making the egg hatch. It's a stupid answer because it's the first thing you do, but it feels good to every time you, you press one of the direction buttons, it just kind of shifts the egg a little bit. And it makes a little sound effect, and then you do it a few times, and then the egg, the duck busts out. I like that a lot. So, Love My it. favorite part is that um, when you quack, if you hit space bar, his leg shifts just a tiny bit. Yeah. He's <laughs> doing a little, a little leg shimmy. <laughs> That's very good. 